What's up, Fish Tank TV? This is Boy with Fish Tank, and um, today we are basically gonna talk about these plants I put in uh, with the African ciglets. Now, I put them in yesterday from the planted tank. Um, if you saw my extreme plant growth video, you probably have seen these plants growing like really, really crazy. I got some really, really good cuttings from this. Um, let me just find the name for you. I got it here on the, on the PC. Limnophila Phila, Sicily Flora. Um, maybe I'm butchering the name right there, but I'm gonna put the name right here uh, for you guys. But um, it's a really, really cool plant. Um, will grow up to 30 centimeters, um, which is quite big, you know? And um, I'm actually just giving them iron and they're just growing like really, really, really well. Um, but I guess the problem with this is um, if you have, if you don't have a lot of lighting in your tank, it's not gonna grow very well. It actually requires pretty good lighting. Um, but I've heard of, I've heard of some people um, who actually have done it um, without much lighting and special lighting and stuff like that but just uh, got away with CO2. Um, I also found some on Tropica that did that. Um, but uh, anyways, it's a really cool plant and uh, I actually thought when I put them in that the African cichlids would completely destroy it. But I thought, um, you know, never mind because I just had to put them in uh, and see what happens because uh, if I didn't put them in, I would just throw them out. Um, so I could just try it. Um, to see what happens um, but uh, my my where is he my compressor steps absolutely love these plants he's actually sitting down there you can see that <laughs> he just loved that sometimes he come out and swim uh, but at the moment he actually feels real really safe down here uh, but he mostly comes when I'm feeding because um, he's actually eating quite a lot but uh, the reason he's staying in there is uh, also from his nature that uh, in the wild, uh, you know, compressor surfs are actually hiding in plants and waiting for uh, fish to come by to eat. Um, but my peacock, my German red, <laughs> is just a bastard. I'm just saying he's just annoying and that uh, he's chasing him. He's, he's not biting him or anything, he's just chasing him, swimming after him constantly, which is really, really stupid. I don't know why he does it. But uh, that is what he really, really loved that, uh, and he does that to him and chase him back there in the plants. But it seems like a good home to him. That was also a reason I put him in there. Um, but also my Kenya. Now I just got a male Kenya for my female Kenya. I got two female Kenya. I you can see one of them right there. Um, and I actually think they're starting to breed. And uh, if uh, they are beginning to breed, the female probably have to rest a little bit and uh, be put into the plants. And the fry can also hide in there, so I'm uh, gonna catch them and put them in uh, uh, another aquarium to make them grow. Um, anyhow, my, uh, my Synodontis actually also just love these plants. Um, because they're just going down to the roots and they're probably gonna tear them apart, not tear them apart like that, but they're gonna make them float to the top, um, which is quite annoying, but they do that. Um, but that doesn't matter because it's not ruining the plants, um, because it's actually a plant that takes uh, nutrients from uh, the water column. And uh, now I just read that it comes from Southeast Asia. Um, a really, really cool tropical plant. Um, and also, my Melanochromis aurotis fish. I can see, is this the biggest one? I can't remember, but I got two of these. Um, they were both females. I thought of getting a male at some time. But um, they actually also really like those plants over there. They like to swim inside them and uh, just chill. So, um, I think it looks pretty good and uh, I know that there's a lot of people who wanted to know how to get a planted African cichlid tank and um, I have a lot of experience with planted tanks and cichlids 
so you know I can actually tell you how to do this and that is why I did this um, it also looks just gorgeous so um, in another video in the tutorial Tuesday maybe I can tell you how to actually keep um, plants with African cichlids without making them go completely crazy on them um, and I guess that is it um, so yeah see you guys in another video